have it at different times. Oh, that's interesting. <laughs> There's my ridiculous self in the background. <laughs> like a leprechaun. I'm a little I've tired completed all of my I woke tasks, up at Professor 7 a.m. this Very morning for well no reason, done. but... Although I must admit, I did have something of a premonition that you would follow through. Now, as you have no doubt sharpened your perception by completing my assignment, I am curious, based upon the knowledge that one's present, and even one's past may reveal traces of what is to come. What do you see in your own future? Uh, let's do... I sense danger. I can't get rid of this feeling of a coming danger. I see. Know that such omens are not damning. If they can at I mean, I'm used to waking up that early, so it wasn't that bad. It was just I would have liked to sleep in a little now. bit longer. But this talk of tomorrow should not divert us from your present success. I shall inform our good deputy headmistress of your exemplary performance. And if that performance is any omen of what your future may hold, then I, for one, see great things. Channel your magic towards your okay. targets. I need to I need to make it nighttime. Cause I need that dummy guy statue. Mine now, dummy guys. Why won't it let me pick it up? Ah, here. Uh there we go. That's me, going into strange rooms, not wearing where they lead to. <laughs> the Grey Lady. I got all the keys. <laughs> Come on. There we go. That's it. I'm making good progress with these tokens. Here we go. The last house token. Time to see what's inside. Goes to the former headmistress, you packs them all. Uh, is it this one? Oh, interesting. I kind of like it. Let's leave it. I want to look as ridiculous as possible. That's all of the crates of Chinese chomping cabbages. 
I'd better go and see Mr. Thistlewood's friend in Feldcroft. Ranrock su Ran suspects there is more of it in Feldcroft. Do not return until you've found it. Ranrock demands an update. Have you found it? Report back immediately. Jeez, bossy. So bossy. Hello, Mr. Ndai. Eddie Thistlewood sent me. Yes, he told me to expect you. Do you have the Chinese chomping cabbages? Ah, uh, yes. I have them right here. Marvelous. This will go a long way towards protecting the hamlet from Ranrock's loyalists. The same foul curs who, I'm willing to guess, intercepted them in the first place, along with Rookwood's lot. Feldcroft owes a debt of gratitude to you and Eddie. Thank you for your help. Ah. Hello, Nelly. Actually, I guys. found all of the keys and opened my house chest. Oh, wonderful. What did you find? I found a rather interesting costume. Brilliant. Whew. Well, thank you for solving that mystery for me. I always wondered what those keys would lead to. Leave what I've learned. What did you discover in the spellbook we found in the scriptorium? Salazar Slytherin's spellbook was a little difficult to interpret, but fascinating. Evidently, he encouraged teaching dark magic at Hogwarts. Neither the Imperious Curse nor the Killing Curse was unforgivable during his time. He believed students should be prepared to use dark magic when necessary, not to fear it. That's why we had to use Crucio to gain access to the scriptorium. He didn't want his knowledge shared with anyone who was afraid of the power of dark magic. I know we had to do it to open the scriptorium, but it's not something I'd want to repeat. And I'm glad we did it, because in the spellbook I also found something else. References to a lost relic, which, from what I can tell, grants the holder the power to reverse dark magic curses. And you think this relic might be able to save Anne? Precisely. I plan to search for this relic, but I don't think we should tell anyone. Especially Ominous. He wouldn't understand. Hmm. I don't know. That's a hard one. I don't want to keep anything from Ominous. And then, like, him get mad. But at the same time... We need to tell him. He's the reason we found the book, and he deserves to know what you've learned. You've seen how he frets about the Dark Arts. I promise I'll tell him when I found the relic. When I know more, I shall send an owl. And don't feel sorry for Ominous. Keeping this to ourselves for now is for his own good. I'll decide what's for my own good. Ominous. See? We were just I about to get some I air. I knew you should Care tell to him. Join? You're a liar, Sebastian. I heard everything. You swore you'd never engage in anything to do with dark magic again. No, I didn't. I said I understood you wanting that. I'd never swear to give up on finding a cure for Anne. You don't know when to stop, do you? I know when not to stop. Leave this alone, Ominous. I'll be on my way. Walks right into him. <laughs> I am not letting this go. Ominous, Sebastian meant well. I appreciate you telling Sebastian not to keep this from me, but going after that relic is not a good idea. Sebastian doesn't even realize it, but he's as irresponsible and reckless now as his parents were years ago. It's why they died. Hello, Deke. You'll be pleased to know that a little Thestral was born. How wonderful to have more Thestrals in our world. Such misunderstood beasts. I'm sorry that we both can see Thestral's Deke. Deke is privileged to see such majestic beasts. But sometimes wishes Deke couldn't. Deke is to blame. What do you mean, to blame? Years ago, Deke's master ordered Deke to help him capture a phoenix. The rarest of all beasts that master had spotted high on a cliff. The phoenix was the most beautiful beast Deke had ever seen. Deke begged Master to leave her be. When Deke hesitated to climb up the cliff as ordered, Deke had to punish himself. As Deke punished himself, Master grew angrier and angrier, and in his frustration, cast at the regal bird. 
Deke suspects the Phoenix was protecting eggs when it swooped down in fear and fury. Before Deke could reach him, Master fell from the cliff. Deke stayed on that cliffside for days, punishing himself before Tobbs found him. What a horrible tale, Deke. I'm so sorry. Deke has only told Professor Weasley that story. And now yourself. Deke often wonders what became of that phoenix. Deke feels fortunate to be at Hogwarts now, helping you rescue beasts. Perhaps Deke can make amends for what came before. Hello, Imelda. So, another trial? Of course it's another trial. And you'd better be taking part. So what? You finally scared everyone else away? Oh, I have plenty of challengers. They're just not very good. No one sets records by wishing for them. And I need strong competition to stay on top of my game. Are you going to try to beat my flying oh, record I or not? Oh, I have no idea what the origin of it is. Strong competition? Could that have been a compliment, Imelda? Go ahead, believe what you want. Makes no difference. Compliments make people soft. No one goes around telling me I did a fine job. Do I care? No. I say I'm the best and that's all I you need. You could look it up. So please, try to beat my record, fifth year. And don't be disappointed when you lose. No, I didn't. I don't know how to make sounds myself. I'm Otherwise I would have Finally, a lot better a decent sound challenge. alerts for, for like following and stuff. Why do I keep... Brilliant! Six more. You've improved, I must admit. That was a bloody good run. Be careful. Earn a reputation for talent around here, and some people get put out about no, it. No, I'm not gonna Sounds go Sounds like you're speaking Zaku. from experience. <laughs> yes, well, I am. Anyway, you didn't do abysmally. I can't deny that. But you'll not have the same luck on the South Coast course. You said your reputation for talent put some people out. Like whom? If you must know, I've had to deal with jealousy from members of our house. When we were first years, Nerida Roberts and I spent loads of time on our brooms. 
pledged to fly every day. As my skill on a broom grew, rapidly, I might add, Nerida suddenly didn't have time for flying practice. I tried to give her pointers, but she didn't have the natural ability I did. Clearly, she was jealous. Her thing spends all her time now dawdling by the lake, obsessed with mer people. Won't even learn to swim. I refuse to downplay my talents to coddle <laughs> someone else's fragile ego. <sighs> anyway, I need to ready the next course. Stop by when it's ready, if you can handle it. We'll see, won't we? Till next time. <laughs> I half expected you to back down. Rest on your laurels. See you at the South Coast trial, if you don't lose your nerve. Where? Where is it? Where's the Nippler? Wanted. Lumos. Yes! <laughs> I have the Niffler. Now to look for the Haggerty family heirloom. I have some good news, Mr. Haggerty. I unmasked your thief. Nothing to unmask, was there? We all know that the thief was my sister, Katrin. Actually, <laughs> sir, the thief was a Niffler. A, a, a what? You know, small, furry, pilfering. I followed it to its lair. Catelyn was the only one who knew how to get into our homes, where to find our treasures. But I suppose, mangy little blighter. Well, if you so found the Niffler's found a lair, Niffler. as you say, you must have found my heirloom. I'm sorry, Mr. Haggerty. I wish I could say that I had. It was too much to hope for anyway. Uh, I appreciate what you did uncover. Catherine's a disappointment for certain, but I never wanted to believe she was behind this. Now, thanks to you, I won't have to. I may go to Hogsmeade later, stir up some trouble. They need to be reminded that we're still tired of wasting my time on Crucio! <laughs> Castle? What would you do? <laughs> <laughs> Did you hear that? No more.
all finished. No, I didn't say I didn't want to use Crucio. I said I didn't want to use Crucio on him. <laughs> There's a difference. Place I'll look off the Let's put the frogs up here. 